PC2, P31 TV here coming to you with my review of Jillian Michaels' Ripped In 30. I know there are hundreds, even thousands of reviews for Jillian's DVDs, but I'm going to assume that mine is the first one you're watching, so if you've never seen what the exercises look like, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about um, the DVD. This is Jillian Michaels' 321 system. So it's three minutes of strength, two minutes of carbs, excuse me, two, two minutes of carbs, two minutes of cardio, and then one minute of abs. And how that's going to be done is 30 seconds per exercise, roughly. So when you do the three minutes of strength, you'll do three exercises 30, 60, 90. You will repeat those same three. You move on to cardio, and you'll do two 30, 60. And then you repeat, you gotta do two minutes, and then you do 30 and 30 for your abs. So that's the three, two, one, roughly 30 seconds per exercise. And you're gonna do kind of like a half and then repeat for each one. Um, equipment, I use hand weights. Um, I have fives, eights, and twelves. I also have a kettlebell. And space, I use a, I don't know if this is probably about a four by eight to five by ten space of exercise. Now I do have a mat. Uh, to protect my knees, so you'll need some type of a space. Um, I want to talk about what I like, what I dislike, and then kind of some tips and what I hope to be some helpful tips. Uh, so what do I like? As Jillian says, it hurts so good. I'm one of those nuts that likes it kind of tough like that, so I like the insanity, the P90 type thing, so it, um, it goes along with that kind of same mindset, um, high intensity for a short amount of time. Um, it's a complete workout, so you will get a full body workout. Um, she does the moves, which I appreciate, because there's some exercise DVDs, which shall remain nameless, that the instructor is up a whole lot, claiming they can't do the abs because they have the fanny pack on with the microphone in it. Um, Jillian does the exercises. You know that she's um, able and capable of doing the moves that she's asking you to do, which I appreciate. Um, but she does instruct, and she cues well. And by cueing well, I mean she calls it in enough time for you to, to get it, you know, she's also calling out cues to protect your body, you know, knees behind your toes, abs in, chest up, shoulders back, uh, things like that. So she's cueing you to keep proper form. So I appreciate that. From her assistants, they are definitely advanced fitness professionals, um, but you get a beginner and you get a, a beginner and, and an advanced um, variant, variation of all the exercises, which is nice. Um, but you can tell they're clearly professionals and they execute wonderful form. So that's very, um, very important for me because when you're doing these exercises for the first time, you want to make sure that you're doing them properly so you don't hurt yourself. So the assistants do really well. The assistants are Bashira, Shelly, and Natalie. And um, I also like the banter that she has between, between them. You can tell that they um, have been together for a while and you know it's just a nice cute little banter of friendship between them. Um, there's no repetition from week to week. So after you finish that exercise, you won't see it again for the duration of the entire four weeks. You will see sometimes, um, for instance, a stork stance in the clip I showed earlier. I was on one leg and kind of doing a roll. Well, you're not going to do that anymore, but there might be a time when you do a stork stance on one leg and then you're doing a fly. So things like that. But then they're all, there are also completely different exercises. Um, what do I dislike? Nothing. I really don't dislike anything. Um, this is just kind of one sticking point that I will put out there. Is in the DVD, Jillian and her assistants, while they're sh clearly capable of doing more, they're using three pound weights. So don't get discouraged if throughout the workout you're thinking, man, I'm struggling. I got to put this weight down for a second. Um, because they're using three pound weights, which is, you know, very light. Um, and so, you know, just don't be discouraged that, man, they're just floating through it, you know, form perfect. They're doing it so that they can have perfect form. Uh, you know, so just don't be discouraged by that. Um, a couple of tips, things to know, I will say that I hope they will assist you is um, there are going, they're not going to be any breaks. They're very quick transitions. So keep your... You need about 24 minutes, and I've kind of broken it down to where 
it's six minutes to do the three to one because three plus two and one is six. So that's and you're gonna do three different circuits. That's 18 minutes. Then it's about a two minute warm up and a two minute cool down. So that's about 22 minutes. And the transitioning is gonna be very quick. You want your weights close by because the only transition you're gonna get, you're not gonna get a water break. So it's gonna be all right. Let's pick up your weights. Let's start X Y Z, and then we're gonna go. And so that accounts for about another two minutes sprinkled throughout um, the the workout. Um, use proper foam. I can't stress that enough. Proper foam is going to keep you safe and also help you get the most out of the workout. Um, modify as necessary. Even though there's someone doing a beginner version, if you need to even modify that beginner version, or if you can't do a particular exercise, run in place. Or um, I know for a while, the first time I did it, I couldn't do everything. Um, maybe I couldn't do particular things. I would just do a push-up, you know, but still get your workout in. And then um, lastly, if you're kind of in between with your waist, the light's too light, but the next one is too heavy, kind of go half and half. And what I mean by that is since you're going to do the circuit twice, the first time do the lighter weight, and then the second time do the heavier weight. As you progress, switch it. Do the heavier weight the first time, and then do the lighter weight the second time. And you think, why would I do that? Well, because now that you've gotten a little further and you've done the heavier weight, your muscles are already fatigued, so now that you're going to go and do the lighter weight, it's still a workout. But it'll all, it'll keep you from being so fatigued that you can't do it with good form. And then uh, lastly, this is not your grandmother's uh, DVD. This is not necessarily a truly beginner's movie. I just decided I'm going to lose weight today. Let me go get Jillian Michaels ripped in 30. Um, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor, nurse, or healer. Go see your own practitioner for whatever um, before engaging in any type of um, health, physical, or diet program. But in my personal opinion, this is not a truly beginner workout. It's for someone who's a, you know, been around the rodeo a couple of times to get you familiar with the moves and the cues and things like that. Um, I will suggest watching it the whole way through so that um, you're able to catch it with the transitions and understand, oh, you know, she needs to do this or my shoulder should be this way, things like that. Um, so those are my recommendations, tips, tricks, things that I like and dislike about the Jillian Michaels Within 30 DVD set. So you guys have a day as beautiful as you are. Take care. Bye.